going to talk a little bit about downtown since uh, you've had a presence here or your wife's family has. So why don't you tell me a little bit about, I know this is a postcard, but it's still a photograph. But what are we looking at? Well, this would be the, uh, what we know is the old drugstore building, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is now being renovated into the uh, uh, Italian right. restaurant. Uh, William and Carly Jewelry, and this goes back towards the post office. Uh, this would be the greens area where uh, the train, train, the train is now. Now let's see, Boone Furniture would, is further down? Would be... Just out of the picture maybe? Yes, I would say that's that. It would be about behind that tree. Uh, looks actually to be right there. Okay. Now, we mentioned that because I think this next photograph, let's see, again, there's no year on it. Do you have any idea, first of all, what that's a picture of and when that, it was taken? That, that would be the uh, storefront. Uh, storefront has changed uh, somewhat over the years. Uh, it's more enclosed now. Uh, but that was the, the window dressings, the storefront. There's some uh, floor coverings and uh, home furnishing type things that, that the store had uh, sold for a number of years. And this picture? Uh, there again, uh, your, your storefront uh, home decorating uh, uh, custom rugs. And, it says Congolium. Congolium. That's uh, a floor product, right? was was a okay. uh, offshoot of the vinyl floor coverings. Now, this is a snapshot of what? That is uh, a snapshot of housewares. Uh, that was a display where they showed uh, that they sold the block planes and draw knives uh, that are on there, uh, some uh, miter saws, some of the more primitive tools, older tools. You've got your uh, pottery or your stone jugs that were sold at the hardware store for people. Mm -hmm. uh, Food that looks to be either a coffee grinder or some type of food grinder, cast iron uh, tea kettle that okay. was uh, in the used uh, very much in the, the 40s and 50s. Now, were these tools uh, sold in, in the shop? Sure, they, they were sold in the shop. So, in Boone Furniture, they were sold? Right, Boone's Furniture, uh, when it started out, it was Boone's uh, Furniture, uh, then it went to Boone's Furniture and Hardware. When the store initially started in uh, 1915, mm -hmm. it sold um, toys, uh, furniture. Uh, general goods. General goods, right. any, anything that, that one would need. Uh, they unloaded the first uh, General Electric refrigerator off of the uh, railroad cars onto horse and buggy to deliver to the customers. All right. That was, you know, they delivered uh, the appliances before there was even, you know, electricity, delivery trucks. Okay, at least yeah. trucks. Now, these were tools. Were they still in town somewhere? Where, where did all this stuff go? Uh, no, those were displays and were sold. I have, uh, in uh, or my wife in our collection, we have saved stuff down through the years. Mm -hmm. uh, either that has was left over stock that we found in the store, or. Uh, Customers have brought stuff back and, and, and said, you know, this was a part of the store. And then uh, through the auction business and collecting, we, we found stuff like found that. similar things, not exactly. necessarily ones from the store. Exactly. So I'm curious about, so you have a collection, and I'll just keep coming back to this postcard. You have a collection of uh, artifacts, mm -hmm. and we have a display case over sure. here. Uh, do you have more than that? Yeah, that that was just a little sampling of, of what uh, Julie has, uh, has collected and... Mm -hmm. and uh, and Julie, your wife, is the link to the exactly. Boone Exactly. She is, she is third generation of Boone's Furniture and Hardware, which is now Boone's Furniture and Gifts. So it was her great-grandfather who opened the her business? Her grandfather. Grandfather her opened grandfather. the business. grandfather. Uh, he started in 1915, uh, passed away in his 40s, so her grandmother kept the store going mm -hmm. uh, with the help of, um, of a good employee by the name of Mr. Knuckles. Uh, and then when her two sons uh, graduated from uh, Oak Ridge Military Academy, mm -hmm. uh, they came to the store and helped her run the store until uh, in about 1978 or 9, mm -hmm. Julie uh, started working up there. And we have fourth generation that works Still there. working. Now, are you on the same property that's been on from the same beginning? Same location. I see. 90 years. Amazing, isn't it? Well, Joel, thank you for bringing these by, and we'd like to get these scanned sure. in as well, too. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.